a very good morning students we are in our regular class lecture and the subject is over dressing and in this class i will try to cover the classification of screens and the jigs and for this two topics i referred the book the course in mining geology by arogya swami so let us get into the heading the screens are broadly classified as the fixed and the moving screen so according to the movement it has been classified the first one is the fixed type of screen that is represented by the grizzly actually the grizzly is our coarse screen that is made up of stout iron bars rails are also used in the large grizzles the grizzly is sometimes mounted in an eccentric with an inclination of about 10 degree the main advantage of using the fixed type of screen is the simplicity and ruggedness and the disadvantages is the lesser efficient the loss of headroom the blending and breakage of the oversized particle and this fixed type of grizzly are also modified and uh, has been designed at and comprises of wide belt that is made up of bars fixed at a regular interval and the roller grizzly instead of bars corrugated rollers are also used so these are the two type of grizzles which are also moving so the moving type consisting of actually shaking vibrating revolving and traveling belt screens so we will see one after other the revolving screen or the trommels are actually used usually attached to a discharge end of the crusher or grinding mill compound trommels consisting of two or more screens mounted on a same shaft and the revolving screen actually used in sizing stones and gravels and there is no any central shaft and the mounting is on the gudgeon the end of the screen or provided with a heavy steel trace which moves on a roller as in the case of a tumbling mill and this type of screen is used in dredges and stone crushing plants so the next one is the shaking screen which consists of elongated trays with uh, which are filled with screens at the bottom the shaking is affected by the various mechanism arrangement the first one of the screen may be suspended by a chain or they may be suspended on a vertical rod attached to a slide and the screen may be supported by a small rollers at the side which moves on the rail though the screens are generally giving a tilt of about 10 to 15 degree the shaking move motion is commu communicated to the tray either by the eccentric or the toggle mechanism or by adjustment of the rails and rollers the adjustment of the shaking screen or for say frequency length of the stroke and the angle of the slope and this should be so combined as to produce a quick forward movement of the material with a view of avoiding blinding and induce rapid stratification excessive speed and length of the stroke causes material to be thrown forward and prevent stratification whereas the excessive slow down on the other hand has the opposite effect the slope is control controlling factor in both the cases the strokes are normally employed or actually 9 mm length with the 60 to 70 minute uh, per 70 per minute and the maximum being 800 per minute the shaking screen are usually used in the coal preparation and in also in the sizing of asbestos so this is a generalized outline of the shaking screen and the next one is the vibrating screen and this consisting essentially of a plain screen surface which is stretched tightly and the made of vibration at a high frequency the amplitude being small such a screen may contain up to 4 dex or recommended the vibration is produced either by the electromagnets or by the use of mechanical devices such as hammer cams eccentric or by using an unbalanced rotor so this is how the vibrator is working and the last one in the screen is the traveling belt screen that is shown in the figure you can see and this consisting of strip of screen cloth that is mentioned as number 1 which is made up uh, into a belt by passing over the roller the material which is uh, washed with water the material passes through the cloth belt is collected in the chute which is in number 2 and the oversized carried by the belt and washed down under the tree so this is how the traveling belt screen is working which is quite simple the rolling action is taking place by the belt and which is passed in the fine size which is passed through the cloth is captured in the chute and the coarse size has been left 
and the three. So the next one is the jigging. Actually, the jig is a machine utilizes the differential capacities of various mineral grains to penetrate a semi-stationary bed. So this machine consisting essentially of a box with a perforated bottom. Water is generally employed as a medium and the current induced passes through the perforated plate either continuously upward or continuously downward or alternatively upward and downward that is according to the requirement. And this machine consisting of number of Cooper shaped compartments to the upper part which is divided into two portion. The first one is the plunger which is here and the uh, second part is the fitted with the screen which is here. So when the compartment are, are fit, filled with water and plunger is forced in the meeting. So this is the plunger which is forced uh, in the material which is placed on the screen that is mentioned as number 5. So material which is placed in this number 5. The heaviest particles sink and settle on the screen while the smaller particle passes through the screen into the lower compartment or hutch that is mentioned as number 3. The coarse particle which, is, which lies on the screen travels forward and withdrawn through the lip or the spout which is mentioned as 4. So this is how the heavier one and coarser one, sorry, finer one can be separated. The lighter material which does not pass through the screen floats up from the first compartment and get into the second. And this process is repeated till the lightest material travels further and further through the lower compartment which also affect by the pulsation induced by the plungers. So this is the general plunger, the first model jigging which is how it is working actually. The second one is the diaprogram jigs. The pulsation of water within the machine is caused by the means of diaprams. This jig comprises a box in which the screen S yes, is fitted very near the upper part. So this is the screen which is fixed here. And the top portion. The pulsating diaphragm is be below the screen. Water is used as the medium for transmitting the pulsation motion of the material on the screen. So this is the diaphragm and the water which is here has been uh, moved due to the diaphragm's movement. The same particles as uh, principal as the diaphragm jig is utilized in American placer jigs used for treating heavy minerals and for working gold associated with the alluvial material. Another form of jig is the pulsator jig. In this machine instead of mechanically actuated piston or diaphragms for inducing the agitation. Intermediate water current is fed beneath the screen compartment through the rotating wall. The concentrate obtained is discharged to the gate and dam system. Water impulses can also be used when required to make the material loose. The normal pulsation used is about 200 strokes per minute but the machine uses a larger quantity of water. A modification of the pulsating jig is the air divan machine which is typically represented by the baum jig. Here, instead of plunger compartment with the plunger, compressed air is actually employed. And compressed air admitted into the plunger compartment causes the necessary pulsation. So these are the generalized uh, types of jigs which we saw. And with this the class is over. If you still have any doubt, you can just discuss it in the class. Thank you.